Hi everyone, I am Brittany the Cosmic Lunar Soul. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a subscriber. Today we are doing the August unboxing of the Witch's Moon box. So I'm going to put all the information about Witch's Moon in the description. So let's just go ahead and get this baby cracked open. All right, we have our Oracle card and our um, information sheet. Let's pull that out. Ooh, safe travels. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. I love that. Oh, I like this card too. Let's see what our box is about. Ooh, Hand of Destiny. Okay. So I think this is going to be all about fate and stuff like that. And I think that's really cool that I have the travel card as well. Because it's like uh, you're fated to travel the world or something like that. Or at least I like to think so. So this, if you are not familiar with my unboxings or with Witch's Moon in general, it comes with two pages of information and then a blank parchment. So I'm going to just set this off to the side and I'll refer to it if I need it. All right, let's get it. We have Grimoire art. So it definitely seems like the Witch's Moon is cutting back on materials. Um, this is very bendy and it's actually a little curved on the edges. This is a really thin backing. Let me show you an old one and I'll show you what I mean. So this is another one we got. It's bendy, but it's not, it's firm and it comes with like this white cardboard so I don't know how much more economically friendly one is over the other but I know quality wise it definitely was better before but this is a grimoire page of palmistry I personally have never been into wanting to learn it it's fascinating to watch people do it. So I think this is actually kind of cool and I'll just add it to my collection of my ever-growing grimoire art. Comment below if you are into palmistry. Here we have a sigil. It says, I ask for wisdom in the wake of my destiny, so mote it be. Nice. I like that the sigils are starting to come with like a little phrase. It makes it easier to identify the top and bottoms of them. Uh, yeah, kind of cool. All right, let's start with the candle since it is right here. I'm going, I'm going to go open air up. Comment below what color you think the candle is going to be. I'm going to go with black. So I'll be right back. Aha, black candle, your girl got it. Okay, can never go wrong with too many black candles. So I'm happy to add this to my collection. And like I always say, if you are not familiar with beeswax candles, I really like that you can unfurl, unroll them and add like your oils and herbs and they're on the inside. So it's all neat and tidy. So I will be excited to add this to my collection. This feels like the oil. Yeah, I think this is an oil. So I'm gonna open this up, I'll be right back. So this oil is inner. It says, it's a magical anointing oil. Has lots of yummy herbs in it. So I'm gonna open it up, do my Brittany smell test, and I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to actually look this up because I didn't know what inner meant. I, I didn't know if, oh, I see now, okay. So this is inner eye magical anointing oil. So this was created with the intention of activating and refining your inner vision. So uh, this reads, allow this oil to assist you during the making of important decisions or simply when you feel as if you must follow your gut during difficult situations. So I really like that. Um, this includes uh, patchouli, frankincense, myrrh, clove, anise oils and for the herbs it has wormwood mugwort that makes sense and jasmine so this actually smells really good uh i really love all of those scents really except may maybe clove but they did a great job blending this because clove can totally ruin and overpower um a scent but this actually smells excellent let's see what our herbs are Okay, makes sense after reading the inner eye. This is wormwood. We have Solomon seal. And then we have turmeric root. Ooh, I'm very excited about this actually. Um, 
I feel like I've had wormwood in the past, but I tend to use mugwort a lot. I don't know if they're as interchangeable as it seems like in my head. I have to consult my books on that, but I really like turmeric. Turmeric is great for the skin and it is in a lot of beauty products because it can be very brightening and rejuvenating. So I make beauty products, so I kind of want to try this out. This is our bath salt. This is just called Ritual Sacred Salt. Let me see if there is more to it. So this is the Oracle of Neptune Ritual uh, Sacred Salt. So this is associated with water, sea, the Roman god Neptune, um, and the dark and mysterious planet. The focus is to be a potent activator of our inner intuition. Interesting. So I don't know why the name is not on here though, but I guess it has Neptune, Neptune symbol. If you can see that, yeah. So curious, but I'm gonna do my Britney smell test. I'll be right back. Okay, this is very flowery. I'm not really into that, but I do think my mom will like this and um, I feel like maybe it'll help her tap into her inner eye, her inner intuition. But then there were a lot of like yummy herbs like roses and lavender. So I think it'll be calming and bring self-love into her life. So this might be a gift for mom. Let's see, where's our incense? All in the bottom, okay. Ooh, black opium. So I have another one from Witch's Moon, which I believe is dark opium love it i try not to use it like too much because i love it so much and i can never get these again so let's see if this one lives up to the dark opium be right back so here is the black opium here or dark opium and then black opium so the black opium and dark opium smell almost exactly alike except the um dark opium kind of has this like earthy undertone where this one has more of a like soapy undertone i'll be curious to see how it burns i think i'll still like it just not as much as the black opium but i think i'll still enjoy the scent around the house regardless i always say you should always burn an incense if you're kind of on the fence because it might burn better than it actually smells all right it looks like we have two things in here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy out. This looks like a hand. I wonder if it's like, um, I wonder if it's similar to this. It's an incense holder. Let's see. Yes, it is. It's a giant incense holder. It almost feels like it is like a practice uh, hand that you can practice palmistry on. It feels, um like chalkboardy so i read the info thing no it's just an incense holder so welcome to the collection incense holder all right let's see what this last guy is oh this is very interestingly wrapped so let's pull that off Oh, okay. This is a um, a little statue. It's a little palmistry statue, and actually, I really like this. Oh, I, I, I definitely like this. Um, I think this might be another gift for the ancestors. I'll have to see if they're. I I really enjoy this. Actually, it's really pretty. It might end up being like display for down here. All right, guys, what should I use this for? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. We're going to do our, like, pick our favorite, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here is everything. Let me know what your favorite thing in the comments is. I'm actually going to open it up. You can pick whatever you want this week. Usually it's quite obvious, but I think this is eclectic enough stuff this week that I'll let you pick from anything you want. So... 
Let me know in the comments what thing is your favorite. I think for me, usually I say the sigil, but this is actually a pretty like standard, like, uh, you know, standard fair kind of sigil. It's really nice and I enjoy sigils, so it is something I'm excited about. But I think my favorite is actually this turmeric here. I'm very excited for this. So it's a uh, toss up between um, the incense and the turmeric. And, and I say the incense because I might not have sounded too excited about it, but I'm curious to see how it burns in comparison to my other opium <laughs> incense. All right, guys, this is everything. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing. If you've been enjoying these unboxings, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, bye, guys.